Yo, what's up, guys? So I haven't posted any videos in a long time. But yeah, some new parts for the car finally came in. I'm installing right now. I got a lip for it. And also I got some new headlights and fog lights. Just finished, um, just already installed the fog lights. I didn't make a video on that, but it's pretty straightforward. Same thing with the headlights on how to install it. You can find it anywhere. But yeah, but I got me some smoke. Smoke headlights and smoke fog lights. So let me take off that cup for you. <laughs> so these are smoke. I mean, it looked like burglar ones, but you can tell the difference. It's way. I kind of like the dark look, so I'm going since my car is dark. I want to smoke uh, headlights and fog lights, and I'm also going to get smoke um, LED tail lights later on. But they're kind of expensive, so I'm putting that on hold. Just gonna rock these for now, and I also converted the. The headlights to LEDs, so now I don't have a HIDs. I'm gonna show you guys on how to do it. It's pretty easy and pretty straightforward. But I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I did so far. All right, as you can see, this side is the LED, and that side is the HID. Tell the difference. Well, I haven't really tried it out yet since it's still daytime. But um, yeah, it's the HID side, and this is the LED side. The reason why I got new headlights, because as you can see, it's pretty old. I could probably restore, but I might customize that into like some projectors. Might retrofit it, and also the fog lights. Oh, you can see right here. I forgot right here on the bumper. Yeah, that's the fog lights right there, and they're pretty smoke, also. But yeah, I had to uh, splice into the wires and wire to 9006 wire. Because this one is the H3 wire, so I just splice it up and cut it up. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward. <coughs> pretty straightforward. Yeah, this is the LED side. Part dim down so you guys can see it. Yeah, this is the LED side. I'm gonna show you guys how to wire it up. It's pretty easy. It wasn't that hard. So right now I'm just gonna take off that headlight, that headlight, then uh, show you guys how to wire it up. It's pretty. All right, guys. So I got the headlights out. So the wire that's gonna power the LEDs is pretty much this wire right here, which is this one right here. So this one it plugs straight into uh, the outlet right there, that white one right there near my finger. It plugs right here. That will power this wire right here. This wire goes straight into your ballast, the ballast. So I'm gonna show you how to take everything out and how to cut it up, how to wire it. This is what power the ballast is, but I'm not going to use the ballast anymore since it's LED. So you pretty much, this is the old ballast right here, I'm not going to use it. The old headlights are already on the car, or the new one. So I'll take everything apart and show you guys how to do it. Alright guys, so I got the screws out. There's four screws right here, lift that up. And there's going to be three screws right here, one, two, and then one in the corner right here. And you just lift this up. So... To pry out the, this harness right here, or this plug, just get a little mini flathead. Alright guys, so I got the little plastic cover right here. It's just, just get a flathead and pry it out, and that's pretty easy. And this lip open, it just hold this, uh, these connectors in place. They're not really like, you don't need to do anything hard to take it off. It's just holding it in place. So these are the wires that's, that I'm going to use. I'm going to splice it. But first, I'm going to take it out of here. So to take it out of here is pretty easy. <coughs> to take it out is basically just rubber grommet. You gotta get a flathead and just bend it so you can pop it open. Sorry man, it's kind of kind of hard to do one here. All right, you just get that out, lift it out, and to take this uh, headlight, uh, automatic headlight thing. It's pretty easy. If so, you can see right there, there's a little groove where it where it's where it clips in place. Just get a flat hand and bend it a little bit, and then it's gonna pop off. And to take off this part right here, this white thing for the connector. The connector right here. Just get the flat hand right here. Focus this real quick. Just get a flathead right here. 
lift it up and then lift up the connector. It's kind of hard to do one hand, but you get the idea. There we go. And the flathead lifted up, it's gonna pop out. Yeah, but this is behind this head, there, this headlight adjuster. So you're gonna transfer this over to the other side. For my headlights, um, since it's at the market, it don't really need this. It don't have the headlight adjuster thing or that little motor thing. So it's just um, it's just like the little Phillips screw where you adjust it yourself. So you don't need to transfer this. You can leave this on. And this pretty much. Well, you gotta bend the thing first. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna bend it first. All right, guys. So I got this loose. It's pretty much loose now. Be careful on how you guys take this out because uh, I broke mine and so I have to end up buying a new one. They charge you $100 at the dealer, but uh, luckily I found one online for like 20 bucks or something. So to get this off, it's pretty easy. It wasn't that hard. I thought it was hard. Let's see, right there, that little ball joint. Let me turn off the brightness. See that right there? That thing, you just pretty much get a flathead right here where the ball is connected like at the end. You just lift up and pop. So I'll show you, uh, I can't really show you because uh, I gotta use two hands, but I'll be right back and show you. Alright guys, so, alright guys, so I got it loose, now it's out of place, it's pretty to move. That's pretty much right there, I put it right down the bottom and just pop it. Now you can just lift up your headlight, your automatic headlight adjuster, or sensor, whatever they call. Take this off. focus this again all right you get this uh make sure you take out this rubber gum ramen thing for the ballast because you're going to transfer you're going to end up using this case for the, the at the market one so now the wire is loose so pretty much it's pretty much what, what i'm going to cut and splice it's going to be pretty straightforward all right guys so these are pretty much the wire i'm going to wire so you can either heat shrink it, or I mean not heat shrink it, solder it, um, which I did on the other headlight, but I found out that um, I couldn't run the wire, or I couldn't, if you end up doing soldering it, make sure you run this first, and put the wire inside first, and then solder like that, because um, this uh, socket, or the connector, the 9006, is not going to fit in any of these, so, because you want it to be, um, it's going to be in here, in here. So you want to make sure it fits in here. It's not going to fit in here because it's going to be in here. So you got to run the wire first then, and then, then solder like that and to the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use um, some some of these uh, disconnect, these quick uh, disconnect plugs. It's like with $3 at the local auto parts store. And I'm just going to wire it in. So these are the what I'm going to wire. Just going to splice these right here. Did I have them using that one? Oh shit. Okay. So I'm gonna splice these right here. I'm gonna cut these off. I'm not gonna use these connector no more, more. Use the, the these disconnect right here. Put on one on this and one on this and just connect it together. And then uh I'll show you guys how it's done. Okay, right, so how to wire these up. Uh, it's pretty straightforward even though you're electrical work. <clears throat> like I said, you can solder it, but I'm just gonna do the disc uh, the quick disconnect. So I'm going to cut these up. Alright, so this is pretty much everything wired up right here. Get the LED. This one I'm trying out. Because I got it for like $30. So, but I'm, I might probably get some brighter ones. But this is just me practicing right now. Get the plug in. Plug it in. Oh, this wire, the 9006 uh, adapter. Yeah, you can get it at your local auto parts store. It comes in a pair, like around ten dollars around there. So now I'm gonna go test fit, test, uh, see if it runs.
All right, so this plug right here is the one that powered the lights or the HID ballast. Now I'm gonna test it to see if it works. As you can see, it's working. Everything is good to go. Now I'll just put everything together. All right, so I pretty much got the headlights on now. It was pretty. I did this within like two hours at best, but I'm gonna do the lip next. I'm not going to paint, I'm just going to test fit it on. Then I'm going to turn it on, make sure everything works before I put everything back together. Alright guys, so I got the lip on. It's pretty, kind of like perfect fit me. I didn't have to do anything. But so far I just screwed it in. But uh, when I paint it, I'm going to get the dub sided tape and do all that stuff. But right now I'm just going to leave it as is and do the rest later. So. I'm just gonna put this back on the car, then I'm gonna test that lights out tonight. Alright guys, so this is like the next day. So these are the lights with the lip on. They're pretty clean, they look pretty nice. They really give the new front end a new look. Yeah, so they're like the smoke chrome one. So yeah, you guys can get a good look at that. And so this is not like in the dark or you say in the shadow. And this is like in the daytime. Depends on the angle too. Sometimes it look really dark. It look, it look pretty nice, like black out. Yeah. But that's pretty much it with a dump in the car. Oh yeah, also I got some used tires. I'm just doing some test fitting. So these are 235, 40 and 18 by in the front. And then 255, 35 and the rear. I was doing some test fitting. He had a 235s, but um, they didn't, uh, or they only had one. They told me they had two. So I ended up using 255s. And the, the 255s, 35s, 18 in the rear. I wanted to try out the 245s, 35s. They did put one on the 245, and I like the way it looks, so I might get that one for the front and 255s in the rear. Yeah. And I also converted the auto tail lights to LEDs, so in the camera you can probably see it's like flickering. Those are LEDs. And I also, um, I also bought some um, brake light flasher modules, which I'm going to do on this one. I'm going to do on, um, let me see, get my favorite. I'm gonna do my third brake light and I'm gonna install that and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. It's pretty easy to do. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've done to the car. Drop a like, subscribe if you guys wanna stay in tune on the build.